mining and risk management technologies. Okay. So let me first introduce myself. My name is Eric Ying, and I'm currently working in one of the uh, big four consulting firms in the world. I before that I was a manager in the Scotia Bank, and uh, before that I was in the risk management side in another major bank in Canada. So my total experience in the risk management is about about four years, and after that I'm moving on to the consulting, which expand my role in different areas and different industries. So I don't know if anyone is familiar with what is SaaS. The full name of SaaS is Statistical Analysis Software Package. It's the most powerful statistical analysis package in the world. Okay, no one beats that. And data mining, data, what is data mining? Data mining is combining statistical analysis with certificated software, data mining analysts, exam database, databases to review significant new, uh, new correlations, patterns, and trends. So let's ask you a bit, uh, let me ask you a quick question. When you walk into the Bay, or Sears, or Shoppers Drug Mart, what's, your se what's the first section? It's always cosmetics and the pharmacy, right? because they, are, they have very high protein margin on those products. Where, where do you find the pharmacy or the post office in the drug drug mart at the, back, at the end of at their back office, right? How they display those things? Because they find new relationship. I want to upsell. When a customer walking in my store, I want to upsell my stuff. Maybe I'm just going there for prescription drug or just mail uh, just mail some letters. However, because I need to go past all those sections, I finally reach my destinations. On the way in, on my way out, there are opportunities for the for the uh, for the company to upsell stuff. You can have a big sign say sell up sign on certain product and that's where the upsell upsell and cross sell opportunities occurs. And uh, if you find what's beside the post office in the drug drug mart, it's always stationary and letters or boxes. So that's the, that's what data mining does to review to re review un, uh, hidden patterns to establish significant convert, uh, new relationship patterns and trends. Another example is a very classic data mining example. Is it's like on Friday, when a man walks into a Walmart and he buys diapers, what most likely he will buy? Beer. Yes, it's a beer. It's a really classic example. So no one, no one will understand why a man buy diaper will most likely to buy beer. Okay, because they, the Walmart asks people to analyze their database, find out. Those two, those two are put in the same cart at the same time for the, for the mails, okay? Otherwise, there are no logic between those things. No one will understand why a male will buy a diaper and a beer together. However, it does. So it provides information that helps business improve marketing, sales, and customer service. So what kind of company needs data mining? Insufficient marketing campaigns. So marketing campaigns is like, what's basket campaign? The letter you got in your mailbox saying that you got, you got pre-approved for certain credit cards, or I will, give you, I will give you these sales. Do you want to apply? Difficult measuring customer value and predicting probabilities. So if you go to Rogers, they all tell us, if you sign a three-year contract and they will give you a phone for free, why is that? And sometimes the, for iPhones, it's, you need to pay $100. For certain phones, you don't need to pay anything. Why is that? Because through data mining, Rogers and the uh, telecom companies can decide what's, the, what's your customer value in that three years. Is that enough to cover my expense to re recruit the uh, cost of the phone? That's how you measure customer values 
and decide how much I want to charge you for that certain forms if you sign a three-year contract. I will give a free uh, a charge of another hundred dollars. Unable to maximize the cross-selling opportunities. As I explained, if if the shoppers have their post office and pharmacy right in front of the door, everybody will just go in and out. Nobody will do anything. So it's unable to maximize cross-selling opportunities. Okay? High customer attrition and charm. So this related, if you, I think everybody here should understand the strategy they win. So if you call and uh, say, I will cancel my uh, uh, mobile phone, and they will give you, they will transfer your call to another retention department, and they will give you better offers, right? <coughs> That's the customer attrition and trauma. This, just continue of the previous slide, needs to detect and de de uh, deter fraud. Maybe you think fraud is a w very w way away from your life, our life. However, it happens any everywhere. Your credit card, your credit card is uh, the most, is a highly possible target for fraud, okay? The bank spends a lot, a lot, a lot of money on fraud detection to build different sources. And uh, I have been involved in a project which is anti-money laundry. Every year, the, the regulators will push every bank, every online broker, every institution, every credit uh, trust, as long as you're dealing with large amount of money, those regulators will push people, or push those companies to in implement a sufficient uh, money laundry scheme, okay? So that's one of them. Cannot make credit risk decisions fast enough. So you, you know what happened in 2008 and 2009, the crisis. What happened? Because the prime, uh, prime uh, the, the subprime mortgage. Why does that happen? Because all those banks did not do their, duty, uh, do their credit risk enough. So there are no credit risk management in those companies when they apply for, then when they think they approve for subprime mortgages. So that's another important thing. When the crisis uh, happened, everybody, every bank turned their eyes on the credit risk management. And that is the most, when, when everybody, everywhere is, people got laid off. However, for us, we are still having bonus and raise every year. That's why credit risk management is a next thing in the banks, which provides us very stable and uh, uh, com uh, compelling future. Inability to understand and predict customer needs, motivations, and behaviors. This part is really mostly related to the retail, the retails. For example, the Sears, the Bay, all the shoppers drug mart. So. Uh, so I, I may say you, I'll say, I'll say you one thing. However, what most likely you will buy next? Take Amazon as an example. If when you go uh, online on Amazon, you set, uh, you select one book, you will find at the bottom here, you will say people who purchase this book will most likely in interest in these kind of books. That's the upsell. That's understand from just one book, they have a uh, sophisticated models to predict what most likely most likely you will buy next, okay? So data mining can do all those things to detect fraud, to make uh, credit, risk ma uh, credit risk decisions, understand customer needs, motivation and behavior, and uh, do, uh, do a sufficient uh, marketing campaigns, measure customer values, maximizing across sell and uh, upsell opportunities, and uh, to avoid Customer to have uh, sufficient customer attrition. So, how do I do data mining? The first part is to data preparation.